Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quentin here and this is tutorial number 40. And in this tutorial we're taking a look at part 7, which is hopefully going to be the final part of our basic website layout mini-series. Okay, so if you guys can remember correctly, we uh, finished the last tutorial, or we left off at the last tutorial, having a web page that looked something like this. Okay, and we finally had our section and our side floated next to each other and appearing next to each other, which is exactly what we wanted, but I did highlight a few problems in doing this, is that whenever we add a border or a margin or a padding, okay, we need to take that into account whenever working with the total width of that element. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually take a look at this in CSS. And um, I already showed you guys the border and margin. So let's go ahead and see what happens if I added a padding of 5 pixels to this left side. Well, then this means that I've added 5 pixels on the left of my left side and 5 pixels on the right of my left side, which totals out to 10 pixels that have been added to the total width of this actual um, class or that element. So when I click refresh, you can see I've added five pixels over here and I would have added five pixels over here. We just don't have enough content uh, to actually see those five pixels that are there. Okay, and what that did was take our aside and throw it down here. And that's not exactly something we want. So the quick solution I showed you guys in the previous video was just to take those 10 pixels out of this um, width or the uh, actual width of the element. Okay, so now we'll work with 700 and or 676 pixels instead of 686. And when we click refresh, uh, you know, everything has turned out just fine. We now have this padding around our section and we still have that margin and border, etc. But there is a better way of working around this because uh, we can, in fact, just get rid of all of this and get rid of that and work with 300 pixels for our side. So 300 pixels and work with 700 pixels for our width of our left side okay and when we click refresh um, we still have our left side over here and our right side over here uh, but whenever we wanted to add borders margins paddings etc we could do that to the elements that are uh, inside of our actual left side and our right side so let's take a look at our left side and as you can see, inside of here, we've got an article. Okay, and this is basically the perfect tag to style um, whenever we want to add padding, margin, borders. Okay, uh, and that means we don't have to fiddle around and make any funny widths over here or any funny widths over here on the right side. Okay, we can work with nice round numbers and it's the same thing on the aside we're working with a div over here and a div over here and in between that we've got some articles um, and other stuff but you know what uh, it's okay we can actually style these divs so uh, let's go back to CSS and I'm gonna go ahead now and say anything that is in the left side that is also an article, so we're basically selecting all articles that are children of the left side class. Well, what do we want to do with those? Well, let's give them a border of 2 pixels solid red for now. Okay, go ahead and save that and see what this looks like. And you can see it's pretty much the same thing. We now have a border, but it didn't throw anything out of alignment. It didn't kick our aside down to the bottom or anything like that. So let's go ahead and continue making sure that this is safe. Let's add a margin on the right 
of a let's say 10 pixels and we'll also give this a padding of 5 pixels okay um, in fact let's make a bigger padding of 10 pixels so when we save this now and click refresh you can see we now have that extra bit of space there so we our margin has indeed worked and we've also got all of the space around the top and on the sides and on the bottom of the section so our padding is there as well okay and if we could do we we'll go ahead and do the exact same thing but for the right side so let's go ahead and say right side underscore side <laughs> And over here, you can see that the inner elements um, of our aside tag are actually uh, div tags. So we can say all div tags that are children of the right side. Or what do we want to do with those? Let's give those a border of two pixels blue. Uh, well, let's say solid blue. And we'll go ahead and, you know what, we won't have to worry about a margin, but we'll give them a padding as well of 10 pixels. And the reason why it's displaying funny is because I didn't put a semicolon in there like I should have. So go ahead now and save that and click refresh. And uh, yeah, we should probably give them a margin on the top and the bottom just to make everything uh, look better. So uh, let's do that. A margin and for the margin we can go ahead and give this maybe a 10 pixel and a 0 pixel and what this means is that there's going to be 10 pixels on the top and on the bottom but 0 pixels on the left and the right okay so go back to Firefox click refresh and uh, there we go uh, now you can see that there is a bit of a problem here with um, this spacing so in fact, um, what I should do is 0 pixels, uh, so top, left, uh, bottom 10 pixels, and right. So let me just make a comment here for anyone that's wondering. Um, those measurements are basically the top, left, bottom, and the right. Okay, and what we did was we gave a 10 pixel padding on the or margin on the bottom and that's where we get uh, this little spacing over here and I think the last thing that we can do is just go over to our page footer and actually uh, center that page footer so what I'm gonna do is just say text align center make sure I spell this right and uh, now that I save that and click refresh you can see the page footer is now in the middle of our web page. And that is pretty much all we had to do to create this basic layout. Now, um, you know, I know it doesn't look pretty or anything, but that is going to be up to you guys. So I've given you guys this template, um, you know, that you guys can use. But, you know, if you go and apply any other style rules that you've you learned about in the past, and maybe just search uh, some websites, uh, you know, for basic uh, design or a good design, um, you guys would be able to create a website layout that looks something like this using my code, and obviously just apply other style rules to get it looking good. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to let you guys practice, and I want to encourage you guys to practice, because the best way you're going to learn uh, how to make stuff that looks good is to obviously um, just keep practicing and looking at other people's designs okay and that's all I've got for you in this tutorial so don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment like or share this video it's really gonna help my channel grow and I will see you guys next time